Oh Lord, I'm in a bad way, you guys. Um, <laughs> well, our character here, Betty, she's overburdened with lots of stuff. She's wet and exhausted, and uh, basically, what's happened thus far is she she left her home after 18 days of waiting for her husband to come home, which he never did. And uh, she decided that she was going to go out and search for food and survivors. And she actually found a survivor for a second. Um, and he followed her around. She saw, found him at the police station. And uh, she lost him somewhere between all the several hordes that, that she encountered. Um, and he's probably dead or eaten at this point. Who knows? I mean, maybe he might show up again. I don't know. But who knows? Um, but anyway, and I'm just... What I'm doing right now, y'all, is I'm... I'm I'm lessening the burden because this car, I think, is going to be kind of like a portable house, at least for right now. Um, but anyway, Betty, she managed to escape and she uh, made her way to a hotel where she spent the night. And or I, I say the night, but actually it was probably. I don't know. I don't know what what, it, what happened. But anyway, she somehow managed to wake up in the afternoon. And when she woke up, Raiders struck with uh, one of them chasing her with a baseball bat. He actually hit her. She had slight da damage, um, and she, but she got away. Um, he kind of gave chase for a while until he, he got like surrounded by zombies. So hopefully he's dead at this point. And um, she ultimately got away though. And she's now in the most Eastern part of Riverside. I think she's stuck in what looks like a 1990s Bonville. Um, there are zombies kind of all around the perimeter. And she's kind of wondering what she's going to do. Now, we went into this uh, building, or actually we approached this building, and zombies came pouring out of the windows. Um, as you can see, there are some bodies over there that she took care of. I do have a flashlight. I'm going to see if I can go in here and... Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, back it up, back it up. I cannot see a thing in that building. It might be that it's because it's like, you know, 1230 in the morning, but... Oh no, obviously her circadian rhythm is fucked because it's so late and she's still wide awake. I'm kind of hoping, you know, it was raining while she ran back this way. Um, I'm hoping that she doesn't get sick. Sickness can always, will always be an issue. Um, she's surviving right now on chips and whatnot, um, you know, since the uh, power's been out. There's really not really much more um, that she can do. Uh, she's, so now she's kind of wet alone. She has developed a, uh, like a growing cynicism for the human race because of the Raider event. She knows now that she can't, not only does she have to worry about the undead, she has to worry about the living as well. And what I'm hoping I've heard that as the days wear on the survivors that are left start to get, become more and more hostile. I guess that makes sense. I don't know. Overburdened again. Damn it. Okay, well, I'm going to go back in here. I'm going to see if I can possibly see with this flashlight. There we go. Got the flashlight. Let's see if we can see. If I can't see anything, I'm not going to even bother with this because it's way too dark. Yeah, it's too dark. Too dangerous. Too dangerous. We're going to go back. Let's try to open the store. Nothing. Okay. Yeah, so I'm, I'm not real sure. We're going to use this Bonville as a uh as possibly um a portable house since we don't have rvs i'm gonna try to take out some of these zeds here i definitely don't want to go back into town they're way the populations are way too large um it's way too dangerous down here it doesn't seem like it's well there are a lot of zeds here too but there aren't near as many as there were in the middle of the town so this looks like the best option that she has at this point um and i can probably take these guys out one by one There's one. Ooh, she's fast. They're fast. Back it up. Just a little bit at a time. Okay. Got it. Got it. Okay. All right. So let's see what we got. Okay. Glock magazine. Yet more stuff that we can accrue and hoard as loot. I mean, that's a good thing about Project Zomboid is it's always loot, right? Trail mix. I can always eat some trail mix. And what else? 
Now, we should be able to find more and more loot with, you know, zombies with uh, guns and stuff because as these survivors start to fall one by one, they'll have their stuff too. All right. Take this guy out. Take her out as well. All right. Baseball bat. Nice. All right. Now, hmm. what can we do here? Should I even bother to come down here? All right. We're going to head back to the car. I'm going to drop off some more stuff because I am overburdened. That's going to create a problem. I think it creates an accuracy problem. And um, obviously it kind of wears her down too. Um, so, so far the plan has been going, it's, you know, as, as janky as this, uh, as this time with Betty has been, it's actually gone kind of according to plan. We found a car with keys, nonetheless, and, um, and we want to get the hell out of Dodge, but, um, and use kind of, you know, use the trunk and the seats of this luxurious car as kind of a portable house. Um, we're going to see if we can do that. Um. Now, this Bonville will do, do do the trick, I think, um, if we can find gas. Although now, um, I think she's kind of wondering if she should find a temporary residence to kind of hole up in. Because the idea of sleeping in a car, especially a car where the perimeter has so many zombies around, um, that's sleeping in a car is pretty risky. Um, I mean, I guess it will do if you have nowhere else to go. But, oh, look at this. These guys are migrating. Okay, well, we're, we're going to take out all these guys, and maybe there might be a house down here that's relatively untainted. Okay, here we go. Let me use the bat this time. The good thing with the knife is it's silent. The good thing with the bat is you can take down one or two at a time. So it's a little bit less risky. But, but the problem is, is it makes noise, and these guys are all about chasing the noise, right? Okay. Oh, watch out. Don't don't get bit. Don't get bit, Betty. Right? Got him. There we go. She's turned into quite the killing machine. Now, if you're wondering why I would call a, a Bonville a luxury car, well, uh, in high school, I had a friend of mine that actually owned one, and I have lots of memories of cruising down I-240, the windows down because there was no air conditioning. Um with a love removal machine by the cult uh, cranked up as loud as it could go. <laughs> it might have been actually been the first car that I kissed a girl into. I don't know. Something like that. All right. So, so far, so good. We've, uh, we've killed a few zombies. Keep going. We're going to clear these guys out. Those were, were the ones by that house. So, once we clear these guys out, we'll go to the house. Okay. Oh, she's getting winded. Oh, this isn't good. Okay, let's see if we can... There we go. There we go. Stay down. Right. Anything here? Nope. It's a compass. I wonder what a compass is good for. Okay. Nothing else. Just bloody clothes and... uh and guts and whatnot. Okay, here's another one. Oh, well, there are a lot of Zeds down here. But like I said, there isn't as many as in the town population center. It just seemed like there were like 50 or 60. Everywhere I turned, there were uh, there was danger. All right, so we got this. There we go. Come on. Come on with it. You ain't no flower. What is that in, in Tombstone? What did, what did the guy say? Uh, fall, Daisy, fall. Love that movie. All right. Keep on. Let's do a little stompy stompy. There we go. All right. Got a couple other ones. These guys look like they're uh, talking to each other. One's going backwards. One's pushing the other one forward. It's kind of crazy. 
right. Ooh, don't, yeah, don't. She, she's getting exhausted. That's the problem is, is that, uh, she's pretty, she's pretty winded. All right. Four in the morning. Good job, Betty. We can figure it out. More. Dang it. Why is there? Okay. Go ahead and take that. Anything else? Okay. All right. Four hours of killing Zeds. Betty is exhausted. She's drowsy. We've really, it's, it's 840 in the morning, but you would think it would be like 10 o'clock at night because she is done. She is like, you know, she can barely move at this point. And we've still yet to kill all the, the zombies within this area. So there's, there's really no safety. There's no safety. I, I, she, she thought that she'd be able to take this house out and maybe sleep in, in, uh, relative, uh, security, but she's starting to think otherwise. I'm going to back up here. So I can take these guys out one by one. It seems like the the smart thing to do. Let's, let's just use these one shots because she's so she's so exhausted when she swings the bat, it barely does anything. All right. So is that everybody? Did we get everybody? I think we did. All right, let's go look in the house. Can we open the door? No. Yeah. So she she thought. She would, she'd be able to do something, but think again. Right? There's, there, are there any Zeds in this house? Yeah, there's a few. So knives are better in close quarters than bats. Where do you go? Oh, there's one. Oh, there's two. There's two. Okay. Got him. Got him. Keep on. Stabby, stabby. There we go. Nice little uppercut with the knife. Little action. Nothing in there. Secure this house. I don't even know if I can secure the house because it looks like all the doors have been taken off the hinges. Hmm. Anything there? Nope. All right, let's go upstairs. This was once the house of somebody, I don't know, some nice little middle class family. Oh, there's another one. Oh, God, they're all over the place. Can I kill them? Yeah. Okay, there's another one. Is it just one? Man, they are fast. This must have been like a, uh, you know, a last stand house or something, I guess. Another one? Nothing in there. Okay. It's good. Let's come over here. Anything in there? No. Now, I want to ultimately get to that shed in the back of the house because I'm guessing that there's going to be... I'm hoping that there's going to be some nails. Nothing in there. Okay. Come in here. Nothing in there either. Yeah, this was definitely like a survivor's house. Look at all the... They have like like uh, things draped over. Oop, there you go. Stabby, stabby. A little uppercut action. You are done. Right, so she's probably killed like a hundred zombies at this point. I don't know. It's been a lot, and there's and there's blasted. There's no um. There's no nails anywhere. Lots of magazines and stuff. This might be an okay to, place to sleep, but I don't know. I mean, the one bad part about this, and oh Jesus, I hate when I do that. It's like key, I have like key binding Tourette's or something. I like press, I think I'm pressing one thing instead I'm screaming, hey, I'm here, please uh, come and eat me, eat my face. All right. Well, the, the, here's the, here's the issue with this house. Yeah. See, he, he wasn't there in the first place. Okay. So, so there's windows or have all been bashed in. I have no, uh, no nails to try to fortify the bottom part and there are no doors. Every, it seems like every door except for the uh, the ones that lead straight outside. So we're going to, I guess. 
Water bottle is good. There's a steak knife too. That's good. Let's can food. We can live here. We can stay here for a little bit. We can hoe down, hold the fort down or whatnot, as long as we can board up all the windows. That's the one big issue. This could be like a temporary residence while we clear out this entire area. Maybe find some gas. Forging for beginners. Can always use that. There we go. Yeah, so so it is 10.30 in the morning now. Um, my Betty has been awake for quite some time. And she is exhausted, tired. Nothing there. Hmm. No nails. Box of bolts. I wonder what bolts are good for. If anybody can tell me what bolts are good for, let me know. Let me know in the comments, y'all. All right, so we are going to continue on. Just check this place out one more time. Just to make sure that I didn't, didn't like, overlook some... Some nails. Now, I know nails typically aren't going to be in rooms, like bedrooms or whatnot, but you never know. Right? Okay. Okay. Nothing there. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. Well, we found some riot boots early on. Like, I guess that was the first, uh, first episode with Betty. So she's sporting some very choice, uh, choice, uh, riot boots. I would love to get some clothes on her. I'm probably going to end up like if we, if we end up going back out, um, get a sweater on her. I think that that will help her avoid getting bitten, but I'm not hundred percent sure. All right, there's one more door I haven't checked. Nothing. Anything in there? Nope. Got glue. Just nothing else. The door. Nothing. Well, I've cleared out this little section. Probably killed a hundred, uh, a hundred Zeds to uh, do it. But yeah, so we're gonna go back here. Oh, what the hell? Okay. Well, this is obviously not a good thing. Should I even attempt this? I mean, I am so tired. Maybe, maybe I will. Come here. All right, two of them. There's three of them. See how fast they move. Right now they're just shambling towards me, but you know some of them like to like lunge. I don't know if I should use a knife or not on these guys. I don't even know if that house is going to be safe to sleep in. I mean, I could just imagine going to sleep and waking up and there being like 20 Zeds in the bottom part. Since I don't have any nails, I can't like, it's not like I can do sheet rope and like make my getaway really quick. All right, I'll use this gate to kind of, this fence to kind of make it easier. Okay, there's another one. See how tired I am? Like I barely see them. All right, three down. How many more to go? Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to do this. I know I, I'm not going to stay at the house. I'm not going to chance it. I think I'm going to chance sleeping in the car. I mean, <laughs> it could be, it, it I, I just, I don't know. I think my, my chances of survival, considering that I've killed a lot of the migrating thing, things all around the perimeter, my chances of survival of sleeping in the car are probably better. But I don't know. It could also mean that she, this could be where she dies. All right. Well, I'm going to end it here. My name's Drunk on Life. You can call me Drunk for short. Uh, we're playing Project Zomboid. This is, I don't know. I guess this is either the eighth or ninth part of the series. But um, we're, when we continue back, we are going to... Um, see we are gonna uh hopefully survive the day i hate to go to sleep at 12 o'clock it means i'm gonna be waking up around midnight but uh anyway until later i will talk to you guys uh next time thanks for watching you guys i appreciate it bye bye